right, I wanted to spend three minutes, five minutes, just saying something that's not very newsy and, and really demands a bigger show, and, and I'll devote a, a larger show to it. And that is, but it, but it comes out of uh, some aspects of, of the submarine story, or the submersible. I, I, I keep being told it's not a submarine, it's a submersible. I don't know the difference. I don't really care that much. Submarine, submersible, so be it. Um, you know, and that is that so many people not only are saying things like they deserved it because they were rich to have died, or they should have never been allowed to go into this because it was a dinky, bo a dinky submersible. Um, but, you know, the, the people are saying, in a sense, people should not be allowed to take risks. People should not be allowed to take risks. Uh, or it's evil and irrational so people take risk, and then they, some of them take the next step, and therefore they deserve to suffer the consequences, which I think is horrific. But this is one of the biggest problems in our society. One of the biggest problems in our society is our attitude towards risk. We cannot live without taking risk. We cannot thrive without taking risk. We cannot have fun, enjoy life, flourish, succeed, thrive without taking risk. Whether it's financial risk or even existential risk of living. And this is also important for the AI debate. Risk is part of life. We want to understand it. We want to be rational about evaluating it. We want to be aware of the risks we're taking and how much we're willing to take. But a life without risk is death. There is no such thing. And yet we have created a regulatory state. We have created a mentality. And, and part of this is how we treat young people and, and children, and particularly boys. We've created a childhood where we're denying people the ability to take on risk, and therefore we're denying the ability of people to thrive and prosper and move their life forwards. Now, I don't understand why somebody would want to go into a metal tube and go, uh, you know, three kilometers under the water. I mean, it w I can't even contemplate that. I mean, scuba diving, I guess. Now, I get that seeing the Titanic under the water would be super cool. Not in my risk-reward category. doesn't even come close. But for some people, it does. Some people are worth... Uh, 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 you know, it's for them worth taking that risk. That's true of people who skydive, which is not particularly risky, but I would never do. Rock climbing, which I don't know what the risk factor is, but it looks super scary. Flying a rocket into space or into semi-space or whatever they call it. I mean, or taking a, quote, untested vaccine. Like, I would have taken the vaccine in August. COVID vaccine. That's how much trust I have in biotech. And I figured the risk was small, young, healthy. Um, certainly if I was 75, 85, I would have jumped to take the vaccine for COVID vaccine in August of 2020. But no, I mean, what, what's, what's you know, particularly insane right now is that people who used to think we don't need an FDA are now saying, oh, the FDA approved the COVID vaccine too soon. Really? With no FDA, we would have had a, a right to try and, and you could have signed a disclaimer and signed your away and a waiver and you could have taken the vaccine much earlier in a free market without an FDA. I mean, the, 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 the precautionary principle, the environmental movement, the regulatory thing about you, you can't build this, you can't make that, you can't do this because it's risky. The nuclear power, the fact that we don't have nuclear power, 
All of these are consequence of society's negative attitude towards risk. And that negative attitude towards risk has come across in spades over this submarine issue. People should be free to take risks with their own lives. And whether you evaluate it rational or irrational, people have a right to be irrational. I mean, this submersible, I mean, the owner of the company was in it. I, I would consider that. I mean, I always think w w when I fly in a plane and I think bad thoughts about flying in a plane, oh, the pilot doesn't want to die, right? So the pilot's going to do a good job. He's not because he doesn't want to die. Right here, the owner of the thing was, was piloting it and, and it still imploded and killed them all. I mean, at least they, they died probably fast and they didn't have to suffer through the slow torture of dying slowly from suffocation. It's, so, this issue of risk tolerance, we've got to allow people to take risks, experiment, push the envelope. That's how civilization advances. And yes, civilization doesn't advance by somebody climbing the Everest. But it's that mentality of somebody willing to try to climb Everest and go for it. It's that mentality towards life of living life to the fullest, in a sense, if, if those are your values. Now, again, there are irrational risks that we don't want people to take, but it's their responsibility. If we start capping it, restricting it, limiting it, we're going to live in a, not a stagnating, a declining, uh, a declining civilization. We're going to end civilization. Civilization is built on the freedom of individuals to take on risk. Yeah, we can, we can judge certain of those risks as irrational, but if we kill that ability to take on risk, we kill civilization. Thank you for listening or watching The Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Iran Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content. And of course, subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are already subscribers and those of you who are already supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.